Hey there, my name's Paige, I'm the content creator here at Clipchamp, and today we're back with another walkthrough video. For today's walkthrough, we're showcasing a really cool new Pinterest feature, and that's the Pinterest idea pins. Using Pinterest's idea pins, you can record multiple videos, add images, lists, and custom text in a single pin, and you can use these idea pins to create anything from step-by-step -step guides or projects, but to show you how things work for today's walkthrough, I'll be using one of our Clipchamp Cross Jojo Tastic recipe templates. Okay, so getting started, I'm just gonna head over to the Clipchamp website and click on features and head over to templates. Just select collections and I'm just gonna scroll down to Pinterest. These are all of our Pinterest templates. And I know for this walkthrough, I just wanna select a recipe template. So this one looks perfect. I'll go ahead and select use this video template. And now it's taken me inside the editor and all of the content from this template is just loading. So I'll just have to wait for that to complete. Okay, great. So all of the content inside this template has loaded and I'm just gonna play that back to make sure it's what I want and it looks great. So now I can go ahead and export that. So I'll just select my resolution and hit continue. And now I'll just wait for that one to export. And once it's completed like this, it will save that video automatically to my computer. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna create our first Pinterest idea pin. I'll head over to Pinterest and click on create here. And at the bottom I can see create idea pin. So I'll just select that one. And this little banner is gonna pop up, just select get started. And I will need to hit agree to sign the creator code and just states that I agree to all of this here. Perfect, so now what I can do is I can select up to 20 images or videos. I'm just gonna go into my files and I'll select that video template here as well as a few others that I have made earlier. And now they're loading. So they're loading in the order that I did select them. So here's page one, page two, and page three. And when I've selected one of my pages, I'll just hit this play button here and it will just play what's actually on that video. And I know that I want this video here as my first page for my introduction. So I can just drag that like this. And here is my Jojo Tastic recipe template that I downloaded earlier. So I'll just hit play on that one. And it looks awesome. So now I can go ahead over to page three. And this is just my end card that I have pre-made earlier. Okay, so now for some of the features of the Pinterest idea pins, um, I can go ahead over here to my template and I can see at the top of your video, text and background. So text means what text means. It's basically just putting some text over your video. So you'll just select the text you like. You can change your font size, your alignment, the color of your font, and you can have that highlighted. So I'll just click into my text box and quickly just type text options here. You can drag that around and move that wherever you'd like on your video or image. And then when you hit playback, you can see there's your text option. But because this is a video template, it already has text on it, so I don't need to add another text box. So I'll just go ahead and delete that text block here. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit add a page because I want to include an introduction to the template itself. So I'll just hit this one and drag this into place. And now I can go ahead and use the text feature, click add text. I'll just quickly update this to template number one and it's butter cookie recipe. I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller so it fits into place. I'm just gonna change the font color to white to match the other slides and I'll select this font to match the other slides. So I'll just drag that into place here and there we go. So now when I look at my pages, page one is my introduction, page two is that card that I've just added in, page three is my video template, and four is my end card. And that is going to be my first idea pin. So I'll go ahead and click next to finish things off. It'll take me into this screen here where all I need to do is add my title. I'm just going to title that Jojo Tastic Template Butter Cookie Recipe. You'll just select the board you'd like it to go to. And for this one, I'm gonna select our Clipchamp Cross Jojo Tastic. You can add your tags, but I'm not going to just for this video. And you can also add a list, so ingredients, supplies, or notes. But again, I'm not going to just for this video. And then you just have to select publish and it's gonna upload your first ideas pin. 
Alright, and here it is all ready to go and it's inside that Clipchamp cross Jojo Tastic board that I selected. And lastly, when I head over to my Clipchamp Pinterest page, I'll just scroll down here and I can see there it is right there. So if I click into that, I can swipe through the slides and that is my idea pin all ready to go. And that's all there is to it. We hope this walkthrough has helped you understand how to navigate around the Pinterest idea pins and we can't wait to see what you come up with.